<laughs> Yo, y'all already know what it is, man. It's your boy Mo 804. And your girl Divine Earth for one E. We out here in Arizona right now at uh, some rest area. Can't really even say I know exactly where I am. I, I was in the sleeper, so she's been driving at me. I just know we in Arizona. And that's, <laughs> and that's all she know, literally. But yeah, man, we out here. Uh, the weather's nice. Feels good to see, or feels <laughs> good to see uh, the actual sun getting out of the California area where everything has been so foggy and cloudy due to their uh, fire, you know, fire and smoke issues. So it's really nice out here, little breezes, things of that nature. But I mean, we out here in AKA what I'ma call Boulder City. Nigga Chippy, he's, he's, he sweat, he, he doggone king of, the, king of the hill out here. No, we not going over there. But we out here, man. Like I said, just getting up close and personal with, with uh, some of this stuff. Like serious rocks, bro. Like, and it's mound, I mean, miles and miles of just huge rock. Uh, formations, huge boulders. I don't know how they got like this or what the case may be, but all I can say is, is the universe and nature is a mother because this is crazy. Just the magnitude and multitude of, of rock formation that you see is just everywhere and it's so massive that it almost seems unreal. Like you know nobody placed this stuff here. This has been here for millions and millions of years, bro. Like literally, this stuff is, yeah, dinosaurs was kicking these joints around, that type of stuff. <laughs> I mean, real <laughs> rap, right? I mean, come on. Probably, probably. I'm just tripping off how they sit and it's like at any minute they could tumble over on you or something. That's what it looks like. Okay. Well, yeah, man. Like I said, we just out here taking in some of the views, taking a few minutes to get out of the truck. We normally don't take this route a whole lot. Right now we're off I-10. You know, we run I-40 a lot. So coming down 10 and running this way is not normally a route that we take, you know, going from east to west, but we're going to Dallas. So it made a lot more sense to uh, take I-10 down through Arizona into New Mexico, more so into the heart of what Texas is. Normally we take that 40, which takes us, you know, the northern part of Texas, Amarillo. In this case, we're gonna go really through a lot of the heartland of, of Texas. Uh, down through El Paso, which is gonna put us right there at the border of Mexico. So that's always a cool route. We, like I said, we just never really take it a whole heck of a lot. So I definitely was looking forward to coming out here because it's been a while since we come this way. But it's just a dope area, man. I mean, yeah, over here chilling under his tent. Yeah, uh, yeah, he over there. He got his little. Taking it all in. Yeah, he got his little joint set up, probably chilling. But I mean, it's just miles upon miles of just the hugest and largest rock possible. Chip, get out this grass. So it's really pretty dope. You know, I'm gonna give some aerial view. Like, just take a look at all this stuff, man. I mean, just the formations, how you see huge rocks just sitting. Looks like it's about to tip over, but it's perfectly balanced. Like, it's 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 dope. You know what I mean? And, and unless you get to come out here and see it, it probably wouldn't be that interesting to you. But just being able to see it in, in full color, you know, up close and personal, it's 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 a cool experience, man. I, I don't ever take this type of stuff for granted. That's one thing that trucking definitely does for us is exposes us to a lot of that what we normally wouldn't see being on the east because this is hard. Oh yeah. This is hard. So yeah, I mean, if you just look at the views alone, like I said, just how colossal this stuff is. I mean, standing beside some of these boulders, like even this one that's here beside us, I mean, it towers over us. I mean, it's, it's huge, but it's not even the biggest. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's, it's, it's dope. So it's like I say, it's miles upon miles of, of these huge rocks and, and the beautiful mountains out here, man. It's a lovely day, nice and sunny. So it's dope, man. Chip trying to explore, but. Oh yeah, he, 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 he getting it in. <laughs> I see you, son. I ain't mad at you. But yeah, man, we out here though, dog. <laughs> And last words you got, Slim? No, I mean, well, you know what? Just explore wherever you are, mm. you know? It might not seem like nothing, but then once you get out the truck and you're actually out here being one with nature, it's a whole different feeling. Being whole one, different. one with nature. One That's a beautiful way to nature. say that. Yes. But yeah, man, y'all know what it is. 
So we out here though. So like I said, yeah, we, we appreciate y'all sliding through, taking a look at what we get to look at. And uh, I appreciate it and enjoy being able to bring stuff like this to you. Cause I know it's outside the norm. And I've always been one of those type of dudes that go against the grain. So hopefully- I never seen this before. Yeah, that's a fact. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully y'all enjoy it, man. It's pretty dope. So enjoy y'all Sunday or whatever day y'all view this. And uh, like I said, y'all know what it is. It's married to the miles, man. We do this. You did. Almost fair, y'all saw that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All that y'all, man. You, we go, you heard? VA in this thing. I want a picture up there because I'm going to 